with its P-210, Cessna gave owners something new in single-engine airplanes, fast cruise speeds in the low flight levels and pressurized comfort. Now, with its Centurion TN-550 conversion, Vitato Aviation offers a complete firewall-forward redo of the P-210 that does something the original airplane never could. 200 knot plus cruise speeds on 17 gallons per hour with cool cylinder head temperatures. Here's a look at this remarkable modification. We purchased our first P-210 in 2000 and enjoyed using the aircraft, but it, it was pretty hot, ran pretty hot. We had to step climb in the summer, pretty lethargic in the climb, and so we knew we needed some improvement, and it drew us to the IO 550P engine. But of course, the P-210 is pressurized, so we had to retain the turbocharger. So that allowed us yet another level of performance uh, with using the, P, the IO 550P turbo normalized, uh, on a standard day, we can maintain uh, full manifold pressure all the way to 23,000 feet. Uh, we can cruise very effectively at Lena Peak. We save fuel, the aircraft runs cooler, typically under 380 or 385 in cruise. And uh, we, we get 12 to 22 knots better speed depending on uh, the altitude and, and the atmospheric conditions. The Fittito TN550 conversion package includes a remanufactured Continental IO550P engine, a remanufactured fuel injection system from a TSIO550C, which gives us the capability of upper deck system and the turbocharging system. It includes a new Hartzell prop, and we have a choice of two, an Atlantic Aero six-point mount kit, pressurized magnetos, all the hoses and, and baffles and brackets that you would need to install the, the engine in the aircraft. Typically, it takes us 12 to 16 weeks for the conversion. It is a very thorough conversion. We do a prop balance. We do a weight and balance on the aircraft. We do testing of the aircraft after it's done to make sure when, when the owner picks up the airplane, it does deliver what we say it will do, that it will run lean of peak at high altitude effortlessly. And so it, it takes us uh, typically 12 to 16 weeks to accomplish that. We have a section on our website, vidatoaviation.com, that has some frequently asked questions. But one of the most common questions we're asked is how fast are the aircraft after the conversion? Uh, we seem to have found a sweet spot at 22,000 feet on a standard day. Most of the aircraft will do around 215 knots true airspeed on about 17 to 17 and a half gallons per hour. If it's hotter than standard, you may not be able to use that much fuel. You have to pull it back to 16, 16 and a half, whatever. That's going to slow it down. So on a standard day, 215. At 10,000 feet, we typically see 185 to 190 knots, depending on atmospheric conditions. But on a standard day, it's not uncommon to see 190 knots, true airspeed at 17, 17 and a half gallons per hour. One nice thing about the turbo normalizing, our power settings are the same at 2,000 feet or 22,000 feet. It works at, both, at all those altitudes in between. In our research, we found that uh, one of the reasons that our performance is better is we shove the mixture forward, the prop forward, and the throttle forward up to the 31 inches of manifold pressure, and we leave it that way till we get to altitude. The original engine required you to pull back the power after five minutes and everyone thinks that's for engine longevity. That's actually for noise. That's what it took to pass the noise test back in those years. 1984, they changed the way that noise was measured. And you'll find in the 85 and 86 P210s, uh, that requirement is not there, nor is it there on our conversion. So that gives us more power in the climb. It also lets the engine run cooler, the brake mean effective pressure is less, and it just works out quite well. Our base price at this time is $117,760, which includes the engine, the prop, the six-point mount kit, and uh, the labor and hoses and everything to make it all fit. It's slightly higher for a T210 because uh, you know, there's a little difference in the induction system. It little, requires a little more fabrication, so it's slightly higher. For more information, contact our website, vidatoaviation.com, for information both on our turbo-normalized uh, installations kits and for our Crossflow 206-207 packages.